afternoon. Um, my friend Jason out in Oklahoma, uh, we were talking not too long ago um, about Alice packs and, and how we had uh, ours set up. And, um, so I, I thought I'd make this little video to, to show you how I have mine set up. Um, I realize there's a lot of Alice pack videos out on YouTube and uh, mine really isn't any, anything special either. But uh, I'd, I'd like to show you how I, how I set it up just the same. <coughs> the, uh, um, this, this pack has a little personal history for me also. The frame uh, it was my dad's when he was in the Army. Uh, he retired back in, in the late 80s. And um, in the very early 90s, I got a, a deer stand uh, one year as a gift. So he gave me uh, his old frame. Uh, for his uh, from his Alice pack, uh, so I could tote my deer stand around in the woods, um, and and I did just that with it. I, I for several years I used it uh, strictly as a uh, as a frame for for toting my deer stand around, and I don't know. I I left my deer stand attached to a tree one year. And I was having a lot of a lot of hardships and stuff. I didn't come back to it after the season and. Uh, kind of forgot about it, but uh, <clears throat> that's a that's a whole other story. So uh, um, the uh, a, a few years back ago, when uh, when I was trying to transition from from just backpacking packs, and and I wanted something a little more rugged than that uh, for for more bushcraft and, and camping type of outings, I remembered I had I had the frame um, from from the Alice pack system. So, I, uh, I went to my local surplus store, and uh, who, who since closed, but I got from him the, the pack itself, and it was in really good shape. Uh, I, I don't remember what I paid for it, but I'm, I'm sure it wasn't a lot. It's uh, overall the pack's in, 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 in excellent shape, minus the, uh, the rubber on the, uh, the rubber starting to dry rot and, and flake off. Uh, but I, I used the pack just as it is uh, for several years um, with the with the original straps and uh, um, the way it was originally designed in the 80s. So this past spring, out at the bushcraft meetup, uh, uh, Bob 808 Knight, he uh, we were talking packs too, and uh, he talked uh, talked me into looking into uh, the Molly strap system. Uh, for the pack, he said it told me it'd be a lot more comfortable uh, carrying it around. So I did. I went out and found uh, some some Molly shoulder straps and the uh, the Molly um, waist belt also, and put them on the pack. Um, and he, he was right. Uh, the the Molly system made it a lot more comfortable. I'm I'm really glad I did that to it. It was a little. Uh, the belt went on quite well, uh, quite easy, it, it just um, almost one for one replacement with the Alice belt system, but uh, the shoulder straps, uh, they're designed for a whole other set of, a whole other pack, so um, I had to do a little, uh, it works fine, and I, I just had to do a little research to figure out exactly how to get the, the, uh, the shoulder straps on there and, and to be tight and secure, so uh, I, I'm trying to think. The video I, I used as a tutorial to, to do that, I, I just can't remember right now. Maybe uh, maybe it'll come to me and I'll put it down in the um, in, in the credits uh, underneath dialog box. But uh, for, for my pack, I made a little a little leather strap to, to a lifting strap for it. I did that a couple years ago. It's been holding up pretty well for me. It's just easier to pick it up than it is to try to reach your fingers in there around the bar and grab it. And I also made um, for this little little loop system here, which really for my little collapsible fishing pole. It just sits in there on the side, and I'll, when the pack's loaded, I'll I'll just put put the main part of the rod in that, in, in these little 
loop system here just to hold it in place. But uh, and I got a little a little tackle box and some straps on it that I'll, I'll leave on the outside there. Um, and that's really about about it as far as anything special I've done to it. I uh, I do keep this little um, Craftsman maglite holder. I keep it in the center, and I, I keep the center pouch kind of lightly, lightly um, filled. Because when I, if I want to take my axe with me, then I can just slide my axe in there behind the pouch and uh, carry it that way. So that, that's really it for any any kind of mods that I've done to it. Like I said, I I want to as far as the the rubber, I still got some some ideas in my head I want to do for that. I've seen some some instruction on uh, doing your own uh, silly nylon um, uh, type of treatment for it. So I'm going to research into that a little bit more. I'm thinking that's the way I'm going to go with it, though. Just take some some silicone and, and thin it out and. Uh, we do the inside with uh, like a silni type of treatment. I, I, I'm leaning pretty heavy on that way with it. I, I just want to do a little more research, and when I do, I'll probably make a little video for that um, if it works out. And I got in, in, in the outer pouches I keep on, on this side, I've got my. Uh, my Eno fly and some tent stakes for it. And like I was saying, I'm, I keep the middle pouch kind of kind of light. So I just got uh, got my my water filter, some some gun oil, and uh, some insect repellent, and then a few hanks of cordage. That I don't want that pouch too full, so I, that way I have some room for in behind it for my axe. And then on on the other pouch is uh, my my hammock, and it's a new hammock, so I'm uh, I'll probably do a future video about it. it uh, I haven't used it yet. I'm, I'm still wanting to try it out. But it, it's a grand truck, uh, grand trunk. It's a, it's a double hammock. Uh, my other one's just a little single ultralight, and uh, I just wanted a little bit more room. It'll be a little more comfortable. Nothing wrong with it. I just just wanted something a little bit bigger. So I'll probably donate that as uh, to some help you get started gear next at the next big uh, meetup next spring at the Big South Fork. So I'll probably, like I said, just donate that to somebody in need for some some gear getting started. And I've got a I've got an old M M16 magazine pouch that I'm using as a uh, little first aid kit, and got a crayon full of a bunch of stuff. I'll uh, show you that one. I want to make another video sometime when I actually have a trip in mind and I'm packing for it. So I'll, I'll do a breakdown of, uh, of of gear and how I got it packed. But that's that's my basic Alice pack, and I still got plenty of room inside for things. I don't. Oh, well, I don't. I do also have the, uh, the uh, metal bracket on the bottom. I don't use it much for anything, though, unless I'm really putting some heavy stuff in here. But I really haven't done that yet. And then I keep my poncho with my pack, which right now is just loosely inside here, but. Plenty of room still for a spare set of clothes, some, some sleeping gear, and food, and, and cook systems. And, uh, that's, uh, that's really it. It's been a good pack for me. I've had it probably five years now, and uh, I, I like it quite well. Uh, like I said, the only other improvement I really want to make to it is just to keep that a little... Um, Kind of repair that. It's it's not a real big deal. I usually will keep a um, a waterproof uh, like a map case and maybe a, a couple first aid books and um, 
the maps or wherever I'm going to be at inside this flap anyhow. So that extra waterproof bag inside there helps keep anything else from being too wet. But uh, I have, uh, when I get to get to doing a trip that uh, I'm actually packing for, then I might do another video for for a breakdown of what I'm taking and how I'm packing. But I just wanted to show that the pack itself today. So thank you for watching, and uh, until next time, we'll see you in the woods.